What's up, guys? I'm Jules. Thank you for coming back to another weekly update of my channel. And tonight we're going to do something a little bit different. Um, usually what I do is I sit here and I tell you guys about my progress for the week, how much stitching I got done, what my plans are for the coming week, and all that good stuff. We're coming up on um, Memorial Day weekend here in the States, which is where we honor those who have... Uh, past um, in the line of duty for our military and so it's sort of an extended break um, for a, a lot of us and um, I have some things that I definitely want to be working on but this past week you would have thought I would have stitched but I didn't I think I got 20 stitches in on Empire State Workers and I'm not going to show you that pattern today because it's not enough to show you the difference between last week and this week uh, but I have spent the entire week thinking about cross stitch and working on cross stitch, but working on cross stitch design. And for those of you guys who don't know, I have my own Etsy store. It's called Stitching Jewels Design. And I have had it for about eight, nine months now where I upload my own patterns. If you uh, are new to the channel, um, go check it out, please. But if you guys have been around for a while, you, you know that because um, obviously Empire State Workers is one of my own patterns. The Eiffel Tower was one of my own patterns. This behind me, the Lincoln Memorial one, is one of my own patterns. Um, there's a lot of um, there's a lot of stuff, really cool stuff on there. And this past week, I just pushed out a bunch more stuff. Um, the creative juices were flowing, and I could not stop working on this. I, from I think Thursday, Friday, I mean all every day, I've been working on this for the last week, and I've really been enjoying myself. Um, and that's nice. It was a nice change of pace from what I what I normally do, and that's really helped me uh, mentally in a lot of ways. Um, removing certain things that are like not stressful, but things that were on my plate, being able to kind of move those to the side and give myself more time to kind of more freedom to sort of decide what I wanted to do, really like unlocked the creative part of my brain that I hadn't been open for a little while. So I just worked on it like crazy. Now, um, I wanted to talk about sort of my store, my process a bit, um, why I do what I do, and uh, hopefully encourage you guys to go check it out. It is something that I want to continue doing for a very long time. Uh, and I, I have big thanks to um, my friend Ronnie, uh, who uh, those guys know Ronnie Rowe who really kind of inspired me to get started with um, design, helped me, uh, taught me a lot about it, and um, really helped me to kind of encourage me to find my own style as well. And uh, I've, I've just really enjoyed it. It's a lot of fun. And I have a lot of patterns on the store, but not nearly as many as a lot of other stores. I have about 100 and separately, I have about 120 patterns right now which is a lot of patterns when you're thinking about it, but there's plenty of stores that have like a couple thousand patterns. And part of it is, is I'm just kind of pushing out things that I find visually enticing, things that I think would be fun to stitch. Obviously, there's no way I can stitch it all. There's just no way. But some of my patterns have been stitched already. Um, I've seen probably half dozen, either the ones that I have or pictures that people have sent me. And it's working out exactly like I have envisioned and as far as, as far as I've designed, everything is looking fantastic. So I am really excited for the future to see sort of what, um, what I'm going to continue to kind of put out there. But, you know, when I finally get enough time to really delve into uh, digital editing, video editing, things like that, I will probably change up and do even more different things. So, um, but one of the questions I get all the time is where, you know, where do I get my, where do I source my photos, um, my pictures or what I use as my designs. And I, as to the best of my knowledge, because I source everything from public domain sites, from central libraries or, uh, things that are in what they call the creative commons which are, um, uh, um, what do you call it? Um, they've been around for like a really, really long time and they've lost their copyright status. 
so they're a lot older stuff. Um, sometimes I have uh, purchased the rights, and so to be able to use those things. Um, as cross stitch and I've double checked and made sure that it's okay that I can do that so um, if you see one of my patterns you'll know you should know that to the best of my knowledge that pattern was primarily at the first thing the first thing I look at is is it free of copyright so um, I want to make sure that I don't step on any toes I don't want to um, you know basically I don't want to step on any toes I I have a pattern, I seriously, like, I have a pattern that I love, and one day I will stitch this. And as far as I know, I won't be able to put it on the store for a very, very long time. It's a um, black and white monochromatic Robin Williams. And I love the design. I absolutely love it. But Robin Williams copyrighted his likeness for, I don't know how many years, basically, that it would take effect... I think it took effect before he died, um, but certainly since he's died, you just you can't you can't do anything with his face. So if you see patterns of Robin Williams on um, Etsy and whatnot, it's you're not supposed to do that. And out of respect to that man, I'm not going to. Um, but that doesn't mean that I can't make my own pattern and do that one myself. And I would love to do it at some point. I. I love it. I really do love it. But I haven't shown anybody yet. And so the only one who's seen it is my husband. And so, um, and he loves it. He wants me to do it. But it's going to be on the back burner for a, quite a long time. But so anyway, so I source, like I said, I source all my stuff that way. Um, I, or I have specific permission from the artist. Uh, but for the most part, um, it's all just from public domain. So, um, all right. So, let me show you what I got. First one up, and this you may have seen this, you may not have seen this. This is an older, um, this is an older uh, uh, like a war recruiting kind of poster, and it's uh, I call this one uh, American Soldiers, but I don't know if you guys can see that. It says Americans will always fight for liberty, so it's got like the Revolutionary War soldiers there with like the World War II soldiers um, over there. I think they're World War II, and so. 1778 to 1943. I love the colors in this one. And this is basically what this is, is a screenshot of the, of what it actually looks like in the cross stitch design software. And so, uh, this is not the original photo. This is from the cross stitch design software. So when you, and, and the other thing too is that it's pretty large. I mean, the stitch count is 396 by 511. And people will ask me, um, people will ask me that, you know, can you make it smaller? I, you know, I, I, I don't want to stitch that much. I need it smaller. Well, the problem is, is that if you stitch it smaller, if you cram it down, you're going to lose a lot of this detail. Um, I like to say that the, the design basically tells you what it needs to be because there's a point at which you will start to really mess this up if you um, push it beyond what it should be. So that involves also making it larger as well, but, um, but primarily you can only get it as small as you can. So these are pretty large full coverage. This is a pretty large full coverage piece, um, but what do I stitch mostly? Pretty large full coverage pieces. So, I mean, come on, right? So speaking of another large piece, I'm going to show you guys one of my new monochromatic ones. Um, and this is, I just released it this past week. So if you like the monochromatic black and white stuff, this one's called Old Firehouse. And uh, if you can see, it's got the fire truck inside the, the garage area there. And so this one's also pretty big. This one's uh, 472 by 612. But that's how you end up with the with the detail. When you try to make these too small, it does not work. It does not work. And so I had to, I really didn't, for the longest time, I didn't want to make these really large projects, but I want to, I want to put this design out and it's not going to fit as like a 300 by 300. It's going to look terrible. Trust me, I've seen it. It looks terrible. Um, but at this size, this is what you will stitch. This is what it will come out to in the end. 
And um, that, that's why I converted myself over to 25 count when doing monochromatics like this because um, I can stitch with one ply floss, saves me floss, and uh, saves me a lot of time. And so I can do two handed stitching with this and it's just, it flies. Well, it's supposed to fly. But uh, so anyway, so there's that one. And then I have another, you know, guys know how much I like vintage stuff, right? So I've got this thing, I call it Winter Sleigh Ride. And this one is 384 by 254, so a little smaller, but it's more of a winter themed painting. And it's just sort of like a old little village. Somebody's driving a sleigh, somebody else is carrying a load of wood back to their house. But I like that one a lot. That one's pretty. And the colors are like nice and muted, like a wintertime shot should be. So I also try and minimize colors as much as I can. Um, you know, most of these, very, very rarely will I have a stitch that's over, a project that's over 70 colors. And that sounds like a lot, but that's about the average amount of like a cross stitch collectibles, um, like with a bunch of colors. It doesn't always have to be like that. Like this next one, I think is only like 25, 30 colors. Um, and it's a lot smaller. So I'll see what you guys think of this one. I call this one Sisters in the Storm. And so it's basically like two women walking along like a rocky embankment right in front of uh, the sea. And um, so this one's a lot smaller. I think it's like 290 by 147. But I just like that one. It's a little gloomy, but... You know, that's what it is. That's what it is. I don't do a lot of happy, cheery clowns and toys and puppy dog tails and things like that. I don't do a lot of those when I'm when I'm uh, doing cross stitch. Um, and then I have a really small one. And this one is one that I actually did a lot of reduction in the sense of I took a lot of things away from the photo in order to bring the size down if I could. Took out some of the detail and you're left with sort of an overall impression of what this is, but it's not incredibly detailed, but that's sometimes you, you trade that off to get it a lot smaller. So this is what I call a golden gate sketch. And this is probably only like, I think it's under 10 colors. It might only be like six or seven colors, but look how small it is. It's like 191 by 123. And this is not, is this full coverage? I don't, this is not full coverage. And so this is a quick, this is a very quick stitch and it has like this line right here, but that's, I just realized it has that line, but it's not, the, uh, the line's not in the, uh, that's the line that I think I took when I cropped the picture, but, um, but it's be a really nice small, you could do this on any lighter colored fabric, um, but I liked it a lot. I liked it a lot. And I've actually, that was one of the first ones that I did. And I held on to that one for a really long time because I wasn't sure if I should put it out there. But finally, I'm like, you know what? Stitch it, stitch it if you want. It's it's fun. It's fun. Um, let's see. Let me make sure that I am doing this right. All right. So the next one up, uh, standard size for me. It's 266 by 360. Again, I think it's like about 40, 45 colors maybe. I call this one Grateful Mother. You could have called it Grateful Grandmother, but I kind of like to think of, you know, like the older woman, you know, like my grandma, great grandma, um, like early 1900s or 1800s mother. Um, but again, that's the kind of detail. Again, this is the stitched um, picture. And so this is what it looks like when it's stitched. And so it has to be bigger to get that level of detail. Um, but yeah, 266 by 360. And, uh, I just like that one a lot. I just thought that was a cool piece and I haven't really seen that around very much. You know, the other thing too, is when you're, if you're looking at Etsy or you're looking at different stores and you see that everybody has done like say Van, Van Gogh's, um, or for you guys in the UK, Van Gogh, um, Van Gogh's, uh, uh, Starry Night and everybody has done Starry Night except me. Um, and I'm not saying that I'm not, a, I'm going to do it at some point, I'm sure, but, um, maybe I'll do it with a slightly different flair, but, uh, you know, anybody can do those things. I've got a, probably three or four patterns that I'll bet you that there's probably at least a dozen other stores on Etsy that are doing the exact same, um, piece. 
Um, I'm trying to do different things. I'm trying to present something different, but also with quality. Like, you guys know how much I like full coverage. You guys know kind of what I demand of a project when I'm stitching it. It's, and I demand even more of that when I'm designing it. So, uh, anyway, take that for what it's worth if you're looking for something new. The next one is a little bit different, but I like it. Uh, it's called the Night Storm, and it's, um, it's not, it's not, it's long. It's 434 by 185, so it's not terribly crazy. But basically, a lighthouse at night in this storm. So you got like the sea, the ocean, kind of with the waves, and you got lightning coming through here. And so there isn't a boat or anything there. Pretty sure there's not. I never saw one. There's like these blackbirds up here. And so, but that's what it looks like. One of you crazies already bought it. Thank you so much for that. That that was barely out there when that was already bought. And I got your message. Thank you so much. That was awful sweet of you. You're very kind. Um, and so, anyway, so there's that one. Um, I'm going to show you another black and white sketch. Um, it's not a sketch. It's a black and white, um, uh, what do you call it, design. Um, and this was the project that really got me to go, okay, Jules, you can't cram this size piece to this. You, when you do that, you pull all the pixels together and it loses, it just loses what it's supposed to look like. So I got this one as small as I could while maintaining the detail. And this one's 274 by 325. Remember it's monochromatic, so you're not stitching every little bit. This might be a fast stitch. I don't know. It's a Japanese pagoda. Check that out. I love this. This is beautiful. So this was, you know, basically just a public domain sketch that somebody did. But it's it's awesome. I, I love it. I love it. It's awesome. Um, that'll go in the stitch count that'll go in this you know in the line of stitching that I need to do and I got one more that I am really excited about now I'm gonna have more projects because I'm like literally I think tomorrow um, there's some serious dog action going on outside Ugh. anyway um, dogs. <laughs> um, but uh, I'm gonna put a bunch more patterns up again this week because I've just been working on it like nonstop and I I just gotta I just want to push this stuff out and so I just want to see what I can do what I can design what I can you know it just I just can't help it and so um yeah it's a little I mean it's just the same way it's the same way as all of us like how many patterns do we own at home and now I'm like producing them like crazy so it's the same sickness cross sickness or whatever you want to call it anyway so this next one it's a bit more of a square, still kind of big, 348 by 355. This one is full coverage, but check it out. Look at that. Elephant graffiti. I remember back when I had um, that first elephant that I put, the black and white monochromatic elephant that I put on here um, on the store, and I remember somebody saying that they, they were really excited because they don't have a lot of elephant cross stitch. This is my third elephant piece which I find funny. Um, I have this one, the monochromatic, and then the one I call three elephants, which is sort of like more of a watercolor um, elephants, sort of like on the safari sort of thing. And so, um, but this one, I just like this one a lot. And so, um, I don't know if you can tell, but there's little miniature elephants like down here, um, kind of hidden with, within the graffiti itself. But, um, it's, it's pretty cool stuff. It's pretty cool stuff. But anyway, I hope you enjoy that. Uh, that's Those are the ones that I probably missed a few, but those are the ones I've been working on this last week. Um, I, just, I just love them. I just love them. And so, I mean, my goal is to get enough stitched so that 2022, I can actually start going to some shows, see if I can get some of these things distributed uh, in other locations and um, kind of make a go of it. So uh, I think the design side of things is, uh, I mean, I love the stitch, obviously, but the design side is definitely where 
um, I think my future lies. And so, or I should say this, I, I feel like I'm a, I feel like I'm a better, I'm a, I'm a much better designer than I am a stitcher. And I say that because I don't think I'm that good of a stitcher. So I, I don't, I could never, I could never actually enter one of my pieces. I don't think I could without a lot more effort. Um, enter one of my pieces in a um, um, competition. Like the, the, the one that I entered and I got third place and I was like, why did I get third place? Well, stitching quality wasn't as good as it could have been. Like you can see when you get really close, you can tell that it's, I'm not taking my time and making every stitch lie perfectly. It's sort of an antithesis to sort of how I approach life in general. I just kind of barrel through it really quickly. Um, but, you know, it, it's... Uh, the design side, the design side though, is so much fun, um, and sadly, it's faster than stitching. I well, it's, wouldn't say sadly, but it is. It is definitely for me. It's faster than stitching. Um, I want to stitch. I love to stitch, but um, I tend to go. I tend to not be a perfectionist when it comes to my stitching. I am a perfectionist when it comes to my designing. So, anyway. That was a long video, guys. That was a really long video. Um, but I haven't really talked to you guys about the store so much, but it is something that I'll probably be talking about more and more. Um, and then there'll be times when I don't talk about it for like two months because I'm obsessed with stitching my stuff again. So uh, we'll see. But I kind of go in waves. You guys know this, waves. Let me pull out my... Um, this is my list for the year. Um, so... Uh, technically I finished the Eiffel Tower. Um, I, you know what? I'm not going to do anything on linen. I thought I would, but I'm not. So I'm just going to erase that. Sadly, that's not going to get done. I have restarted Empire, um, but I'm still wanting to finish that. I got to get the framing done. I really do need to get the framing done. Um, and, uh, I don't know. I, you know what's going to happen is, is I'm just going to have a video where all of a sudden I've got like five things framed. And I won't even tell you that I'm getting ready to do it. It'll just happen one day. So, and then a few other things, which that's, whoa. Now you can see the mess I have over there. See the, saw the, the, the plates and the, all that. Whoops. Um, Mom, don't look at that. But that's, that's my messy side over there. That was dinner and all that good stuff. So, anyway, um, I think that's it. Um. Want to have a big shout out to my nephew, um, my husband's nephew, my nephew, who uh, got in a car accident this last week um, and um, got his arms broken and some other stuff. And uh, but he's okay. Other than that, is crazy, 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 crazy. Um, but hope for a very quick and um, complication-free recovery. And uh, man, that just stinks, though. But we're 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 really happy that you're okay. Um, cause that could have been, that could have been really bad. Um, oh gosh, uh, I gotta go to a high school graduation in like seven minutes online. And then I gotta see if I have to go into work in like an hour. So I probably ought to just take off here and go ahead and upload this. But, um, link to the store will be down below and happy stitching. And I hope you guys have a good day and I'm going to have a good day and we're all going to be happy. Right? Right. All right, guys, take care and I will see you later.